motivation, inspiration. It's all bullshit without taking action. International best-selling author, serial entrepreneur, tough love, no BS, high-performance coach with an attitude. Welcome to the Queendom, where we talk about proven strategies to scale your business and scale your mind for ultimate success. And here's your hostess, cash flow queen, Kenitra. Peace and greetings, beautiful family. Queen here with another episode. Hope you had a fantabulous weekend. Hope your weekend was great. Hope you got a lot accomplished. I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of happiness and a lot of joy. That's what it's all about, right? So um, we've got a great uh, episode coming up here today. I'm going to get in and talk about meditation. Before we do, let's uh, get into the present moment. Let's get into the present moment awareness. So we'll take a couple of deep breaths, inhaling through our nose and exhaling through our nose. All right, beautiful, beautiful. So today, again, we're going to talk about meditation. I think on Mondays, what I want to do is, um, on Mondays, we'll dedicate Mondays to um, various types of meditations. And then that way you can see all the different meditations that I utilize. And then you can pick and choose some of the ones that um, you want to incorporate for yourself. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. we'll see how that goes. So today will be a primer go in and uh, we're going to discuss this article that I found on Healthline where it uh, gives the science uh, based benefits of meditation and the title of the article is 12 science based benefits of meditation now let me let me just give you my definition of meditation because people always ask me you know, what is meditation? I've been meditating for years and I don't see any changes and blah, 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 blah. First off, if you've been meditating <clears throat> anything over 30 days and you don't see a change, uh, you're not doing it right. <laughs> um, some, some spiritual teachers and, you know, gurus out there will tell you, oh, you can't go wrong with uh, meditation. And you actually can. You have to have an intention with anything that you do right so your intention for your meditation may be just to calm your mind that's an intention your intention for meditation may be to um, give yourself self-esteem right so you're viewing yourself in a um, a more um, confident manner right your meditation may be to um, try and sort out a problem of something that you're dealing with so you, you you should have an intention when you meditate and if you get up from your meditation and you feel the exact same way as when you sat down for your meditation then you need to sit back down and go back into meditation okay so the proof is in the pudding it shows you right then and there how uh, beneficial meditation is so I'm not one of those people that say you can't go wrong with meditation. I think you can go wrong with meditation if you don't have an intention. All right, so let's dig into this article. This article is from Helpline. And again, 12 science-based benefits of meditation. Meditation is the habitual process of training your mind to focus and redirect your thoughts. The popularity of meditation is increasing as more people discover its many health benefits. You can use it to increase awareness of yourself and your surroundings. Many people think of it as a way to reduce stress and develop concentration. People also use the practice to develop other beneficial habits and feelings such as a positive mood and outlook, self-discipline, health, healthy sleep patterns, and even increased pain tolerance. 
This article reviews 12 health benefits of meditation. Number one, reduces stress. I think all of us can relate to this. Stress, probably the number one killer <laughs> around the world. So number one, reduces stress. Stress reduction is one of the most common reasons people try meditation. One review concluded that meditation lives up to its reputation for stress reduction. Normally, mental and physical stress cause increased levels of the stress hormone cortisol. This produces many of the harmful effects of stress, such as the release of inflammatory chemicals called cyto cytokines. These effects can disrupt sleep, promote depression and anxiety, increase blood pressure, and contribute to fatigue and cloudy thinking. In an eight-week study, a meditation style called mindfulness meditation reduced the inflammation response caused by stress. Furthermore, research has shown that meditation may also improve symptoms of stress-related conditions, including irritable bowel syndrome, post-traumatic stress disorder, and fibromyalgia. Now, I mentioned uh, mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness meditation is basically where you are just meditating and the intent for the meditation is really to calm your thoughts, to calm the chatter, and you're just focusing on your breathing. So, you know, each time that we start the podcast, we always do uh, a uh, present moment awareness. That's actually a meditation when we take two deep breaths. That's a meditation because we're focusing in on our breathing. It's called a mindfulness meditation. Okay. Number two, controls anxiety. Meditation can reduce stress levels, which translates to less anxiety. A meta-analysis, including nearly 1,300 adults, found that meditation may decrease anxiety. Notably, this effect was strongest in those with the highest levels of anxiety. Also, one study found that eight weeks of mindfulness meditation helped reduce anxiety symptoms in people with generalized anxiety disorder along with increased positive self-statements and improving stress reactive and coping. Another study in 47 people with chronic pain found that completing an eight-week meditation program led to noticeable improvements in depression, anxiety, and pain over one year. What's more, some research suggests that a variety of mindfulness and meditation exercises may reduce anxiety levels. For example, Yoga has been shown to help people reduce anxiety. This is likely due to benefits from both meditative practice and physical activity. Meditation may also help control job-related anxiety. One study found that employees who used a mindfulness meditation app for eight weeks experienced improved feelings of well-being and decreased distress and job strain compared with those in a control group. And you notice here in this section, they keep talking about an eight-week program, an eight-week program. Meditation, just like muscle building, it takes time, right? You don't uh, lift weights one day and the next day, boom, you got, you know, rock-solid muscles, rock-solid abs. It takes time. So just like with meditation, it takes time. You have to, to practice, to practice, to practice. It's actually called a meditation practice, a yoga practice. So it's something that you do continually, 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 okay? No, no microwave mentality, okay? Number three, promotes emotional health. Some forms of meditation can lead to improved self-image and a more positive outlook on life. For example, one review of treatments given to more than 3,500 adults found that mindfulness meditation improves symptoms of depression Similarly, a review of 18 studies showed that people receiving meditation therapies experience reduced symptoms of depression compared with those in a control group. Another study found that people who completed a meditation exercise experienced fewer negative thoughts in response to viewing negative images compared with those in a control group. Furthermore, inflammatory chemicals called cytokines, which are released in response to stress, can affect mood leading to depression. A review of several studies suggests that meditation may also reduce depression by decreasing levels of these inflammatory chemicals. Number four, enhances self-awareness. 
Some forms of meditation may help you develop a stronger understanding of yourself, helping you grow into your best self. For example, self-inquiry meditation explicitly aims to help you develop a greater understanding of yourself and how you relate to those around you. Other forms teach you to recognize thoughts that may be harmful or self-defeating. The idea is that you gain greater awareness of your thought habits and you can steer them towards more constructive patterns. One review of 27 studies showed that practicing Tai Chi may be associated with improved self-efficacy, which is a term used to describe a person's belief in their own capacity or ability to overcome challenges. In another study, 153 adults who used a mindfulness meditation app for two weeks experienced reduced feelings of loneliness and increased social contact compared with those in a control group. Additionally, experience in meditation may cultivate more creative problem-solving skills. Number five, lengthens attention span. Focused attention meditation is like weightlifting. <laughs> I just kind of mentioned that, didn't I? Um, focused attention meditation is like weightlifting for your attention span. It helps increase the strength and the endurance of your attention. For example, one study found that people who listened to a meditation tape experienced improved attention and accuracy while completing a task compared with those in a control group. A similar study showed that people who regularly practice meditation performed better on a visual task and had a greater attention span than those without any meditation experience. Moreover, one review concluded that meditation may even reverse patterns in the brain that contribute to mind wandering, worrying, and poor attention. Even, meditated, even meditating for a short period each day may benefit you. One study found that meditating for just 13 minutes daily enhanced attention and memory after eight weeks. Number six, may reduce age-related memory loss. Improvements in attention and clarity of thinking may help keep your mind young. Curtain Kriya is a method of meditation that combines a mantra or a chant with repetitive motion of the fingers to focus your thoughts. Studies in people with age-related memory loss have shown it improves performance in neuropsychological tests. Furthermore, a review found preliminary evidence that multiple meditation styles can increase attention, memory, and mental quickness in older volunteers. In addition to fighting normal age-related memory loss, meditation can at least per <laughs> partially improve memory in patients with dementia. It can likewise help control stress and improve coping in those caring for family members with dementia. Lots of great benefits here. All right, number seven, can generate kindness. Some types of meditation may particularly increase positive feelings and actions towards yourself and others. Meta, a type of meditation also known as loving kindness meditation, begins with developing kind thoughts and feelings towards yourself. Through practice, people learn to extend this kindness and forgiveness externally, first to friends, then acquaintances, and ultimately enemies. A meta-analysis of 22 studies on this form of meditation demonstrated its ability to increase people's compassion towards themselves and others. One study in 100 adults randomly assigned to a program that included loving-kindness meditation found that these benefits were dose-dependent. In other words, the more time people spent in weekly meta-meditation practice, the more positive feelings they experienced. Another study in 50 college students showed that practicing meta-meditation three times per week improved positive emotions, interpersonal interactions, and understanding of others after four weeks. These benefits also appear to accumulate over time with the practice of loving kindness meditation. Number eight, may help fight addictions. The mental discipline you can develop through meditation may help you break dependencies by increasing your self-control and awareness of triggers for addictive behaviors. Research has shown that meditation may help people learn to redirect their attention manage their emotions and impulses, 
and increase their understanding of the causes behind there. One study in 60 people receiving treatment for alcohol use disorder found that practicing transcendental meditation was associated with lower levels of stress, psychological distress, alcohol cravings, and alcohol use after three months. <coughs> meditation may also help you control food cravings. A review of 14 studies find mindfulness meditation help participants reduce emotional and binge eating. I can actually attest to that. Um, today I'm on day 29 of a water fast and I meditate each and every single day, typically for about an hour in the morning and maybe 30 to 40 minutes uh, at night before I go to bed. And uh, with the meditation that I'm doing, the energy control and so forth, it definitely uh, helps you with, with food cravings. Okay, number nine, improves sleep. Nearly half of the population will struggle with insomnia at some point. One study compared mindfulness-based meditation programs and found that people who meditated stayed asleep longer and had improved insomnia severity compared with those who had an unmedicated control condition. Becoming skilled in meditation may help you control or redirect the racing or runaway thoughts that often lead to insomnia. Additionally, it can help relax your body releasing tension and placing you in a peaceful state in which you're more likely to fall asleep. Number 10, helps control pain. Your perception of pain is connected to your state of mind and it can be elevated in stressful conditions. Some research suggests that incorporating meditation into your routine can be beneficial for controlling pain. For example, one review of 38 studies concluded that mindfulness meditation could reduce pain improve quality of life, and decrease symptoms of depression in people with chronic pain. A large meta-analysis of studies enrolling nearly 3,500 participants concluded that meditation was associated with decreased pain. Meditators and non-meditators experienced the same causes of pain, but meditators showed a greater ability to cope with pain and even experienced a reduced sensation of pain. Number 11 can decrease blood pressure. Meditation can also improve physical health by reducing strain on the heart. Over time, high blood pressure makes the heart work harder to pump blood, which can lead to poor heart function. A high blood pressure also contributes to arthrocerosis. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Arthrocerosis or a narrowing of the arteries a narrowing of the arteries, which can lead to heart attack and stroke. A meta-analysis of 12 studies enrolling nearly a thousand participants found that meditation helped reduce blood pressure. This was more effective among older volunteers and those who had higher blood pressure prior to the study. One review concluded that several types of meditation produce similar improvements in blood pressure. In part, meditation appears to control blood pressure by relaxing the nerve signals that coordinate heart function, blood vessel tension, and the fight or flight response that increases alertness in stressful situations. And last but not least, meditation is accessible anywhere. People practice many different forms of meditation, most of which don't require specialized equipment or space. You can practice with just a few minutes daily. If you want to start meditating, try choosing a form of meditation based on what you want to get out of it. There are two major styles of meditation. Focused attention meditation. This style concentrates attention on a single object, thought, sound, or visualization. It emphasizes ridding your mind of distractions. Meditation may focus on breathing, a mantra, or a calming sound. Open monitoring meditation. This style encourages broadening awareness of all aspects of your environment train of thought, and sense of self. It may include becoming aware of suppressed thoughts, feelings, and impulses. So, great article. Let's see what it says here, the bottom line. Bottom line, let's read that. Meditation is something everyone can do to improve their mental and emotional health. You can do it anywhere without special equipment or memberships. Alternatively, meditation courses and support groups are widely available. There's a great variety of styles too, each with different strengths and benefits. Trying out a style of meditation suited to your goals is a great way to improve your quality of life, 
even if you only have a few minutes to do it each day. Boom. So, that's the science-based benefits of meditation. And like I said, what we're going to do is, um, on Mondays, I'm going to um, go through the various styles of meditations that I do, depending on uh, the outcome, the intention, what it is I'm wanting to accomplish, what it is I'm wanting to show up in my life. Uh, before we get to that, if you've never meditated before and you just simply want to start, something really simple that you can do, right? Just to calm your thoughts. Everybody wants to calm their thoughts. Everybody wants to de-stress. No one likes to be stressed out, having anxiety and all of these types of things. So all you can do is just simply sit in a comfortable position. You don't have to be in lotus or any fancy posture. You can just sit in a chair. Put your you know, left hand on your left knee, right hand on your right knee, and just simply breathe. And your intention is just to calm your thoughts. So you just simply breathe in through your nose. As you breathe in through your nose, you're going to see your abdomen and your diaphragm. You want it to get bigger. See, babies, they know how to breathe properly. And then we, we, we are taught to uh, breathe very shallow as we get older. But you should breathe like a brand new baby. If you watch a brand new baby breathe, they're breathing properly. So they're breathing in all the nice life force, all the nice prana, all the chi, all the sekhmet, all the ka. They're breathing all of that good stuff in. They're exhaling the bad things. So you're sitting in a chair, you got your hands on your knees, you breathe in through your nose, your abdomen, your diaphragm gets bigger, and then you exhale through your nose. You can do that for about three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, however long you want to. That's the beauty of meditation. So I'll see you on, or I'll hear you on tomorrow. Uh, remember to go to the blog if you've got questions, you want to make a comment, thequeendome.com, thequeendome.com. So I hope you have a great day, peace, and unconditional love. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe via iTunes and Google Play for upcoming episodes. If you're committed to scaling your business and life to the next level, book a free strategy session with Cashflow Queen Kenitra by visiting the website, nobscloser.com. Again, that's N-O-B-S-C-L-O-S-E-R.com. Again, visit nobscloser.com to book a free strategy session today.